Well, Elliot, as he stresses about a stress test in Holby City today at 4.35. Now, you can tell there's something not quite right about Scotty and Shanty's new home, but they're happy in Shortland Street. You get away with murder if you want to know who favourites. Is there a problem? I still say my exaggerated. Pity I'm not her type. What do you mean by that? If there is a repeat of any of the behaviour I have just described, I will be obliged to suspend you and report you to the relevant authorities. I have never brought my sexuality into the workplace, unlike some. And I have never played favourites with staff, especially not for the reasons you're accusing me of. Maya, I am not accusing you. Your colleagues are. Who are these colleagues? You won't tell me, so how am I supposed to defend myself? You don't need to. I have given you a warning which you need to heed. End of story. This is Carol Beckham, isn't it? I catch her selling funeral services and this is her revenge. Give me some credit, Maya. Whatever her breaches, which she has been warned, I can assure you it wasn't just Carol. If a bunch of Carol's mates are backing her up, then it's hardly evidence. I bet not one single senior staff member has made a complaint against me. There is more than one. I don't believe you. Do you think I would do this without consulting your boss? Scotty, you seriously think that I treat staff according to whether I fancy them or not? No, I don't. Then where is all this coming from? I have heard complaints, but I saw no reason to act on them. Complaints from who? Carol, for one. But I wouldn't trust her word on anything right now. Exactly. There's been only one other complaint regarding Alice. Alice complained about me. Ethan Pierce. He claims you're selecting her shifts according to your regard for her. We went through this last week. Ethan claims that I'm playing games by not giving Alice time off at short notice, and then when I do find cover for her, I'm playing favourites. I can't win. Okay. For what it's worth, I think Callum's wrong with this, and I'm annoyed he didn't bring me into the meeting. Whatever. Make sure any stuff between you, Alice, and Ethan is kept outside of work, okay? I do already, Scotty, I swear. Good. On a lighter note, would you like to come to our housewarming tomorrow? I'd love to. Great. Midday on. Will Ethan be there? Alice will, so I'm assuming it's a possibility. Is that a problem? No, no. Uh, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> Good. You've just made me a very happy man. Sorry I made you wait so long. <laughs> now, you sure you can put up with me? Forever and ever, amen. <laughs> me and ten kids. Oh, you, I can handle kids, I'm not so sure. Okay, well, we'll start with the puppies, here we go. <laughs> now, are you sure you're okay with the dad? It's a bit corny, but <laughs> I am a man in love. So, should we break the news to your family? Not tonight. I want to make a big announcement. Bobby? Better get back to Mum. I want to see the books for the Aussie Central. You've seen them already. The real books. Like I said, you've seen them. Cut the crap. I'm tied into a money laundering operation. I want to know the extent of it. You'll get legal profits when they come in, so leave it at that. I'm up to my neck in this, thanks to you and your white-tailed buddies. I need to see for myself how bad it is. No, you don't. And I'm warning you, leave it alone. I am this close to going to the police. Really? Is your grave robbing still under investigation? Not an issue. As for the money laundering, at this stage I can claim innocence. I've derived no funds from it. So no, I'm not bluffing. And yes, you will show me the real books. Where are they? I'll bring them in tomorrow. gave me a verbal warning for sexual harassment. You're kidding. Guess where the complaint came from? Carol's bitter and twisted enough. Ethan Pierce. Ethan says you made a move on oh, him. Oh, he said that I'm messing around with Alice's shifts to keep her close to me. Well, you're not. Right. Do you really have to ask? Well, no. You know, it's just that you like Alice, she's your friend, and you hate Ethan, and he hates you, so... I am not playing games. Ethan is, and I'm not, okay? Okay. Hello. 
Ôi I'm Shanti. My husband and I just moved in. A oh, Flora. Flora Morton. Very pleased to meet you, Flora. Uh, that's a lovely garden you've got there. I'm glad that I ran into you, actually, because we're having a housewarming here later today, and we would love it if you could come. You could meet my better half. Oh, thank you, but, but no, I have an appointment. Oh, well, that's a pity. Still, another time, eh? <laughs> How's it looking? Well, the gutter ring's shot on two sides. I'll measure it up and go and buy some. Should be out by the weekend. <laughs> you just can't wait to get fixing things, can you? <laughs> Listen, Ethan knows we're running two sets of books. He says I'll go to the cops if he doesn't see them both. Silent partner needs his mouth shut. Yeah, well, if Kane hadn't laundered so much cash, Ethan would never have sussed it. Tell him whatever. Shut him down. He knows too much already. He doesn't know. He suspects. That's why he wants to see the books, to find out for sure. For all you know, he'll make copies and use it against us. Okay, I'll tell him it's a no-go. Or maybe to talk to him. No. Last thing I need is my silent partner ending up in casualty. Renovator's dream, I suppose I'd say. It's a dump. Hmm. Welcome! Wow! <laughs> what a fantastic place. You're lucky thanks. Yeah, a great place, guys. Nice score. It's a bit shabby, but it's got good bones. It's beautiful. Broken gutters and all. Come and have a drink. Yeah, uh, more nibbles over here. And drinks over there, mostly. Scotty insisted on filling the bathtub full of ice and a ridiculous <laughs> amount of beer. It's an ancient Kiwi tradition. Oh, no good. <laughs> Hey guys, congratulations. This is such a nice place. Oh, yeah, these old houses got character. You need a jumper, bro. Well, no, I just felt a draft or something. What are you talking about? It's stinking hot. Somebody walked on your grave. Any ghosts here? Not so far. You spoke too soon. Ghosts like to be acknowledged. And they will be. Just as soon as we can find some marigolds, eh, Shanti? How do you know about marigolds? Your mate, Ramila, she clued me up. Well, come on, clue us up too. <laughs> There's a ceremony to drive evil spirits out of a house. Get a good vibe going, make it peaceful and prosperous, that kind of thing. Mm, what's it called? It's got your name in it. Vastu Shanti. Uh, you need marigolds and other bits and pieces. Auntie Rani was hassling me about it. You better do it then. You can't be too careful. I'll get round to it sometime. Right now, I just want to find some cutlery for my guests. Oh, who needs cutlery? That is what fingers are for. Come on, it's time to boogie. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Our first blown fuse. <laughs> Out. All the fuses are good. Oh, how's the Beatles report? Well, they said the wiring's old, but I couldn't spot any actual problems. Oh, well, they don't catch everything in those reports. Damn it. Mm. Oh, or a spark, yeah, I reckon? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and if you need to handle the rest of the place, give us a yell. I did some renovating for my sister. Thanks, mate. Hey, g'day. Jibbo. So, um, is this the place where the bad thing happened? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, yeah. good on you and good on Shanti. I thought she'd freak. Except you didn't tell her yet, did you? When's the right time to mention the previous owners died in a murder-suicide? Well, I don't know, before you bought the place. But the price was good. Shanti was into it. <sighs> anyway, what she doesn't know can't hurt her. I thought this place was supposed to have security. Welcome. Coffee? Sure. Black. To what do I have the pleasure? Business. Business, you say. You're Karen silent partner, right? Keep it that way. Meaning? Keep your nose out of business that's not yours. If there's a threat coming, don't bother. 
I haven't quite figured you out yet. I mean, I know you're smart. Smart in the sense you're a surgeon, rich, whatever. But you don't seem to be afraid of me, or okay. king. Possibly because I'm not. If you were truly smart, I mean, if you had any common sense whatsoever, you'd wet your pants right about now. And I'm not the psycho canis. You should be afraid of both of us. You've made your point. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> nice. I know truly smart people, Doc. They're alive and healthy. They know to take good advice when they hear it. It's not the fuses, and it could be a problem anywhere there's electrical wiring, which means... I'll book an electrician. Preferably before a house burns down. There's always a few teething problems with a new place. I suppose. I'm um, sorry. By the way, the handle came off the tap in the bathroom. I tried to put it back on. <laughs> right about now, I could use some good news. We have good news. Karen. No, come on, let me ask down to announce it. Announce what? Karen. Uh, Libby said yes. We're getting hitched. <laughs> about time. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. You're a... Puppy. <laughs> this calls for shampers. Good idea. <laughs> we'll be okay. With the electrics, I mean. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. Uh, <laughs> there's no water. Oh, 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 oh. Grab towels. I'll shut off the water. Uh, where the mains? Um, Out the front, I guess. Somewhere. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, are you still mad at me? I'm not mad at you, I'm just under the gun here at work. Whatever, hey, can you pick me up from my ass tonight? You've been babysitting there every night. Doesn't she spend any time with her child? Of course she does. She just wants to go to Scotty and Shanti's housewarming for a couple of hours. Well, that is her problem. I don't want you sitting for her, tonight or ever. What are you talking about? She is using you, Soph. Using me? Hmm. I am putting my foot down. No more sitting for Maya. In fact, I don't want you going around there at all. Well, unless you give me a good reason, I'll go around whenever I want. Okay. That car that you've been promised, it's on the line. I want you working at home, focusing on your studies, not somebody else's so-called lifestyle. I mean it, Sophie. This is a deal breaker. I'm so sorry, everyone. No, don't you worry about it. It's a disaster. Oh, these shoes will never see the light of day again, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, relax. The boys are on to it, eh, boys? I hope so. Sorry it took so long. We had to cut through two bushes to get to the mains. Yeah, and one of them is a rose bush, unfortunately. You got any plasters? Grab some. And antiseptic too, please. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> You're a lucky guy. Yeah, I know. Maybe now's a good time to change business associates. If you're running with the white tails, you're putting yourself at risk. If you're at risk, so is Libby. What could be worth her getting hurt? Really sorry about this. Same. Nice knowing you, kiddo. What's with Sophie? Ah, oh, fight with her dad or something. Hey, do you want to ride to the housewoman? I can't go. Sophie can't sit for me. How come? Give Scotty and Shanti my regrets, yeah? Okay. I'll meet you up front. Sure. They're not coming along. I can't get a sitter. Must be like working in a lolly shop for you. All this fresh young talent walking about. I know what you're doing, Ethan. I know you're manipulating people against me. It's all paranoid, don't you think? Especially coming from someone who's on record for pushing sweet young girls along in their career. Morgan's attractive, but if you're not careful, people will start thinking you're a lesbian predator. Word to the wise, eh? I'm uh, not saying today was up there with Chinese earthquakes, but... We haven't bought a lemon, have we? Absolutely not. A house needs to be lived in. Now that you're here, the place will come up a treat. Look at the gardens. Is that privet? Easy enough to dig out. Shanti wants some fruit trees. He foolishly promised me a mango. <laughs> it's a bit cool, but you could try. I'll make it grow, even if I have to wrap it in an electric blanket in winter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. romantic! 
What's the story? You can't hear this party all the way down the street. Slight electrical hitch, no power. Welcome, guys. Grab a cup. Where's Maya? Her set of bailed. Oh, poor thing. Is it just me or have they bought a dud with this place? Yeah, dud. Afraid so. Mm. Still, on the upside, the misery they endure making this dump livable will bond them for life. That or see them divorced within the year. Bigger! <laughs> Dr. Mackay. Maya. As you can see, I'm very busy, so unless this is important... My professional reputation is at stake, I'd say that's pretty important. We have discussed all we need to discuss. Scotty never made complaints about my behaviour. He merely acknowledged that two complaints, neither of which were formal, had been made against me. It amounts to the same thing. Is that all? As for allegations that I showed favouritism promoting Morgan Braithwaite, Scotty backed me on that and the whole process was open. Processes are, motivations aren't. That's it? Allegations that I played games with Alice's shift is a flat out lie and I know this because I now know who's making those complaints against me. Maya, I don't have time for this. Ethan Pierce. He is the one that's making all the noise, isn't he? Admit it, isn't he the only one that is saying this stuff about me? That is confidential. This is my reputation at stake. And you are doing it no good by barging in here and screeching about it, nor are you helping your cause by slurring senior staff. Oh, so he can slur my name, but I have no response? Why? Because I'm a nurse and he's a doctor, or is it because he's a straight white male and I'm a dirty lesbian? Maya, that is enough. How dare you accuse me of bias? Okay, I'm sorry. I apologise. I never intended to, to accuse you of anything. I just wanted to tell you that Ethan is playing games. Because? Because... I don't know why. I just think that he enjoys hurting people. Maya, that's enough. Making unfounded allegations against others is not a defence. Now, if you have a beef with Dr Pierce, I suggest you take it up with him. I at least want the warnings against me withdrawn. Sorry, it stands. So he can say and do what he wants, but I have no redress. We're finished here, Maya. How's your tush? Sore, how's the plumbing? Not too bad, we just need a new hot water cylinder and some repairs to the bathroom. The bathroom? It's been leaking into the wall, the wall and some of the floor is rotten. The insurance might cover it. Nice new bathroom. So we have to replace everything? Not everything. Look, I know it's been a hell of a day, but I promise you, we'll fix this place up so nice, you'll love it. Well, what doesn't kill us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's dance while we've got a chance. Oh. Bad day. Is there anything I can do? It was me thinking you're a tough old bag. Did you lose a patient? No. Politics. Courtesy of your ex. What's he done? You'll think I'm paranoid. I won't. Tell me. He's launched a smear campaign against me, telling people that I favour stuff that I fancy. He won't be telling people. No, I know he is. I just can't prove it. I believe you. But he won't say anything outright. He'll drop casual little comments, praise you, and then admit that he's puzzled by some of your behaviour. He is the king of the passive-aggressive. Well, how do you know this? How do you think? Everyone thinks that I'm some sort of sexual predator and there is nothing that I can do to stop him. You'll have to, I'm afraid. Once he decides to destroy someone, he won't stop. Having a lock-in with staff tonight? No, not tonight, sorry. Say, Libby. Here's to you and Libby. Thank you. 
Leave Maya alone. She never did anything to you, except find out what sort of a man you really are. Why don't you just trot off back to your agent cash cow? Chris is a decent man, unlike you. I know why you're having Maya framed for sexual harassment, by the way. I'm not framing anybody. It's because Alice is friends with Maya. We can't have that, can we? Go home. Your latest toy has to have all her friends and family surgically removed one by one so that she's all alone with no support. For goodness. Did I say no support? Oh, no, that's right. Alice will have you. You'll be daddy and boyfriend all in one. And if she has to pay for it with a little pain, that only shows how much control you have over her. Get over it, Brooke. You're out of the loop. And what I do with whom is none of your business. I like Maya. I respect her. Leave her alone. Or else what? I mean it, Ethan. Back off. Ethan, what a pleasure. Where's the books? More books. Oh, for the... Your little gang buddy didn't scare me off, okay? I want the books. The real ones. What gang buddy? Kingy. He barged in, threatened me, and swanned out again, as instructed. I didn't send him. Whatever. I will not be intimidated by you or anyone. And if I'm hurt in any way, I'll dump you in it. How's the honeymoon in jail sound? Bring the books in tomorrow. It's okay. It's just wallpaper. No, it just came down on me. Well, the, there were these noises and, and, and then the lights and, and I thought someone was touching me. It's okay. Boy, you scared the hell out of me. Why did it just fall down like that? It's probably because of leaks. What is that? Mold or something? Old paint, rust, mold, maybe. Oh, I'm wide awake now. Do you want a cup of tea? Assuming the kettle doesn't explode? Sure, I'll just clean this up. <laughs> Bank charges, lending and interest rates come under the spotlight tonight with a discussion on the banks on the front line at 10.35 here on 1.